How's it going, guys? Uh, it's been a couple weeks from my last video. Uh, garage sales uh, really slowed down this time of year. Uh, looked on uh, estatesales.net and Craigslist uh, today is Friday. I saw that there's two uh, professionally run estate sales and then one uh, privately run estate sale by the family. So I've told you guys I always prefer to go to the the private uh, family run estate sales. So it started at, I think, 9 o'clock, and I got there about 8.20. I'm glad I did. Uh, I should have even went a little bit earlier because there was uh, one guy pulling up right in front of me. Uh, he was in a couple minutes before I was able to go in. Uh, but one thing from the pictures I saw on Craigslist was this. Uh, this is hanging on the wall in the shop. And uh, I asked the lady if the stuff on the wall was for sale, and she said some of it was, some of it wasn't. Uh, I pointed this out. Uh, she had her helper friend uh, take this off the wall. I didn't even look at it. I could tell there were some uh, good pins and stuff on here. I thought there might be some gold. Uh, I asked a price, and she said, uh, how about $40? I said, fine. Uh, the one thing, there was uh, another gold pin right here. It was an international harvester. Uh, the guy that was her helper worker wanted that pen. So I didn't argue. I said, that's fine. Just take it. And I paid $40 for uh, this entire uh, little display. I guess you can call it of cuff links and pins. I have pulled uh, some of the gold off. I think all the, actually all the gold. Uh, so I'll show you what that is. So on everything, I paid $75. So got a couple uh model kits and this Harley Davidson. Uh, those were only 50 cents a piece. Uh, like I said, I paid $75 for everything. I uh, have this uh, TI-84 Plus C. Uh, it does work. Uh, that, that alone is probably 50 to $60 just for that calculator. I saw a little bit of the gold right there. Uh, this Fuji seat, uh, definitely vintage, uh, maybe 30 bucks for that. And then two of these uh, 35 millimeter uh, cameras have a uh, Pentax K1000 and this Canon AE-1 uh, program camera. Uh, pretty nice condition. Uh, they do, uh, I fired them so the, the shutters do fire on those. So I'll sell these uh, as is untested if I will uh, say that they uh, they do fire. So I, I look those up. I think the Canon, it looks like it's a pretty desirable model. Uh, I might be able to get almost 200 for that one. And then the uh, Pentax looks like those sell around 100. And then I'll get to the pins here. So I have a bunch of uh, pins, uh, cuff links, So uh, Charles Hughes for president. I think that's from 1916. And uh, Watson, I'm not sure if he was running for president or uh, congressman. Have some Freemason cufflinks. Uh, those are gold filled. And then these other pins, uh, these are more than likely, uh, some of these could be sterling. And some more cuff links up there. Some notable pieces. Have this uh, Freemason with the uh, skull and crossbones on top. Uh, not gold. As you can see, uh, it's kind of worn. Uh, this is actually glue because these were a lot of this stuff was glued to this board. So have that, and then these uh, cufflinks from Japan. So I looked these up. I saw a set with the box with the tie clip, sold for one hundred and eighteen dollars. So maybe that pair seventy five fifty. For those
and then have the gold. So uh, the rings were stuck up here on these, like that. So that's how it was displayed. Uh, like I said, I had no idea if any of this stuff was gold. I took a chance. Uh, had a feeling like it probably could have. So uh, this is all the gold, uh, over 30 grams of uh, 10 and 14 karat gold. And it's all marked uh, 10 and 14 karat. You can see 10 karat in there. That's another 10 karat. And this one is actually a cut. And that one was, uh, this one was marked 14 karat. I don't even see that very well. And then the rest of the uh, service type pins, some Freemason pins. And these are all marked uh, 10 and 14 karat. Another large enamel Freemason pin. And that one's uh, 10 karat, I believe. Yeah, 10 karat. And an international harvester, and that one's uh, 10 karat. So it's uh, been a while since I've actually found some gold. Uh, kind of surprising this late in the year. Uh, you know, I had all garage sale season, went to, you know, 50 to 100 garage sales, sometimes in a day. And I just went to a couple today and found a bunch of gold. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.